Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate running total when you have text. In my previous video, we discussed on calculating the running total when you have date values. That was pretty easy. So, but today we have a challenge. So we are having the dimension that which is text. And let's see how you're going to solve this. I always prefer to have a small sample set so that it's easy to understand. So if I bring big tables for this analysis or demo, people often get confused by looking at several columns. So for the sake of simplicity, I always prefer to have small data set. So as you can see in the column A, you have the customer name and column B sales. The column A is text field, unlike the date field which we had in our previous video. So let me quickly load this into PBI and then see how we can calculate the running total. So now I have the data loaded into this PBI. So we have a matrix here. And now what I'm gonna do is create a new measure. And let me call this as total sales equal to sum of Sales. Let me bring this here. Okay. So now I have customer name and also the total sales. So now I want to calculate the running total. So basically I'll be showing two methods. So let's go with the method one. So now what I'll do is uh, create one more measure measure and then let me call this as method one equal to so I'll be using the combination of a calculate function along with sum equal to calculate I have the total sales here so let me bring this total sales here and then I will use a filter all function filter and I want all. So, so I need all the values coming in this customer name. So I'm gonna select the customer name. Close the parentheses. And now what I'm gonna do is use the sum of sales. So I'll be using this when I need the sum whenever the value of total sum is less than the total sales is less than or equal to total sales. And now close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now if I bring this to the values here. Let me bring this here. And now I can sort it in ascending order. So now as you can see here, I have all the customer name sorted in the order. It's in the descending order of the total sales. So basically you can see here the cumulative, the first one is uh, because it has equal values and that's the reason you have equal amount here, equal values 800 and then 800 plus 350,500. So you can see it's, it's in a cumulative order. So now I'm gonna show you the second method using a rank function. So let me quickly create one measure and name it as rank. I'll call this as rank equal to rank of rank x. So the table name is sheet one. So I need to use the combination of all so that the calculation happens for all the records. Expression is, I'll use the total sales 
values i don't need to enter order i'm wanting descending order so i get the ranks now so now if i add this to the values we can see the total sales is the one which has highest sales it's been ranked one similarly the second is skipped and the third because you have equal values so i'm using the skip here so if i the ties is skip so explicitly i'm going to state that skip and now we have the rank so using this rank function let me calculate or show you the method to so now if i go back to the method to the measures and then let me call this as method two equal to i should i'll be using the sumx function with the rank combination of these two so now what i'm going to do is sumx function and the table i'll be specified expression so i'll be using the top because i need this in the order so top n n value so i'll be getting the n values from the rank here and then i can use all functions so basically there should not be any row level filters applied because i have the customer name in the rows so now i can use all customer name and then what i'm going to do is close the bracket and then the order so i need this in the descending order total order total sales and then and the sum of expression that is total sales here it's a little tricky because what i'm trying to do is rank first and then in the order of total sales and then doing the sum and now hit enter so now if i bring this here the method 2 you can see i'm still getting the Cumulate your running total. So now you might say, "Think why my total is incorrect?" So ideally, I should be getting grand total has. Whenever we do cumulate, right, we should not sum it up because if you sum it up, it will be incorrect. I I need to get the the total of the total says here as a grand total, right? So now I can modify this. Let's say in the method one, so I can use has one value as one value if this customer name has one value then i need this i i need to calculate this else okay sorry i, I haven't used if function here if has one value that is this is true then i'll get this else i'll do the sum of sales so now if you can see here i have the cumulative and at the end i have the grand total which is equal to the total sales because we should not sum the cumulative which will be incorrect i can use the same function for method two as well so now if i go here and then use the if function if coupled with has one value i'm basically checking if this column has one value you can see all this rows has one value because the customer name but for the total it will give you false so that's how i'm using it if has one value customer name then i want this the one which we calculated if it doesn't exist i just want the total of sales Hit enter. 
So now you can see both these methods is working as expected. I have the grand totals in both the methods. So it's up to you to use any of the methods. One of these methods, you can couple this with other functions. So this is a short video about uh, using or calculating the cumulative total or running total when you have a uh, text uh, field has a dimension. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Good day.